The first time I saw a sense cam movie, the thing that inspired me about it was that what you were seeing was an event structure running off in real time, which was a model of how somebody did something, summarised vis purely visually. So when people go on a journey, they have an opening part of the journey, they go somewhere and then they return, or if they go into a restaurant, they follow a kind of set of rules about how it is that you behave in a restaurant in terms of you know going through the menu getting the first course on and then paying of course at the end so it conveys the structure as well as the specifics and if you view sense cam images very very fast say at about 12 frames a second as opposed to the two frames a second that are used in much of the research you see that structure very quickly now the thing that intrigues me and is forming a core part of the project work we're doing in this collaboration with Bangor um, is to see if you can utilise structures like that to enable people to reflect on an event structure or a model of a social engagement, social relationships, um, get the main part of it activated and then see if we can link in new bits so that they'll keep a very differentiated or kind of fine-grained view active. Um, and my own personal view is that we use these gross structures when we do everyday memory retrieval. Mem everyday memory retrieval requires you to think about what it's like to be in a restaurant and you use that to provide you the clues to get into the detail. Okay, so you can imagine that SenseCam enables you to play with those two levels quite independently. You can show the structure. If you can make that structure richer, particularly for example in patients with dementia, who are having trouble using possibly structures to get at the detailed aspects of recall. If we could enrich and support that process through this kind of imagery, then that might enable them to recall information of the right kind that's otherwise difficult to get access to. So uh, in our own case, we're interested in being able to support patients' ability to recover routine activities around the home. So it's important for them to keep their own model of what they do around the home, their own schema for that, as rich as possible to provide them with more and more cues to help them get the specific lower level details out about like, you know, where they left their purse if they can't find it.